today, 44 different men had became president. Let's look at some of the trivia questions, starting with the tallest. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, was the tallest man ever to be president. At 6 feet 4 inches tall, that's 76 inches, he is the tallest man ever to be president. And also, we're going to learn some presidential trivia, and also, we're going to look at the other part, at the other end of the line, James Madison was the shortest man ever to be president at 5 feet 3 inches tall. That's 63 inches. That is 13 inches shorter than Abraham Lincoln. James Madison was the fourth president, serving from 18... Um, he was president from 1809 to 1817. And also... Coming up, James Madison holds another record, too. He doubles up as the shortest and lightest president, weighing no more than 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. And then, we're going to learn about the heaviest president. And that president was William Howard Taft. Taft was the 27th president, serving from 1909 to 1913. He weighed 340 pounds. He was so large that he had once got stuck in the bathtub and had to have a larger one installed. He also died in the bathtub. And then, next up, is presidential ages. We're going to learn about the youngest elected president, or the youngest man to be president, Theodore Roosevelt, became president at the age of 42. However, he was president following an assassination of William McKinley, so Theodore Roosevelt was not elected to his second term, and the record for oldest elected president belongs to someone else. The youngest man ever elected president was John F. Kennedy, only 43 years old on election day, and he served from 1961 until his assassination in 1963. Now we are going to learn about the oldest man who ever became president. And the oldest man who became president was Ronald Reagan. He became president at the age of 69. He was 73 when he was elected to his second term. But he was not the oldest man who became president. And also, the man who was the oldest first time president was Donald Trump. And he became president at the age of 70. And if he wins re-election in 2020, he will overtake Ronald Reagan's record as the oldest elected president. Next, we are going to learn about how long people have been president for. And next, we are going to learn about... The man who served as the shortest presidential term, the man who had the shortest presidential term was William Henry Harrison, and his presidential term was only 31 days. Shortly after becoming president, he got out in the rain and caught a cold, which turned into pneumonia. William Henry Harrison died after being sick for nine days. He is the first president to die in office. Now we are going to learn about the president who is president for longest, and that was Franklin D. Roosevelt. He was the president for 12 years, and he had won four presidential elections. 
And that is how George Washington refused to serve a third term in 1796. And Franklin D. Roosevelt was president from 1933 until his death in 1945, only 11 weeks into his fourth term. And also, we are going to learn about the man who was never actually elected president, and also, and that man is Gerald Ford, and this is Gerald Ford, and also, when Richard Nixon resigned in 1974, Ford all automatically became president without ever winning an election, making him the only president never elected into the position. And then we are going to learn about the president everyone voted for, and that was George Washington. He was the president for eight years, and he could have been the president until he died, and the people asked him if he was going to continue being president um, in his second term, and he said no. So that is how he refused to serve a third term in 1796. I hope you enjoyed learning about some presidential trivia today. Goodbye, everyone.